Yo. Ha ha. Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, you two? <sighs> Let me, let's, hold on real quick. I got a, the Yeezy 350. Abes, right? I think it's a um, Hebrew meaning. That means like 10. Um, that's hence why the, the colorway is, is, is 10. I think they have gray and white hints. Um, Treads, if I'm not mistaken, for the upper and the prime knit for the Easy 350 Abyss. Uh, this shoe will be releasing this fall, 2020. But the reason why I'm doing this video, <coughs> excuse me, is because a lot of people do complain that the Easy 350 just has different renditions of the same colorway just slightly tweaked on various Yeezy 350s. At first, I didn't want to like believe it because sometimes, you know, there's like certain differences between certain Yeezy 350s. Like, you know, they're saying like, man, you know, maybe perhaps that the colorway kind of looks the same, but there's certain things that makes it different from the others. When I saw, and of course, there's just photos right now, of the abyss and i'm like this thing releases in the fall but it looks awfully familiar like a yeezy 350 that we have seen before um I, this was my first yeezy 350 is the yeezy 350 landmarks um when i look at the abyss and i look at the landmarks i mean they look almost identical the difference is i think the upper which is like right here bring this up the upper of the shoe right here is a little bit darker so but when you look at the stripe and you look at the midsole look at the gum bottom i mean i don't know you tell me does it look the same i mean it literally looks the same outside of the fact that you don't have the reflective laces that you had on the lumbarks and they're solid right they have more of that 10 color so it's like, <laughs> just, I swear, like, I don't even want to, I was getting ready to put this as a thumbnail and be like, look, I have it. And then just see how many people think that I would have it. But then I would, you know, I'd be considered it, you know what? <laughs> but the fact that now I'm starting to see, like, he's, he's pretty clever with it, man. Like what's, what's stopping him from taking like a shoe like this, right? And put reflective stripe on the back of the shoe, like where the stitches are, where you see the stitching right there, right? Or the stitching in the middle. So you're going to start seeing reflections there. You put a pull tab on it, and that'll reflect only. Are we getting finessed with easy 350s? Here's, here's my thing, though. No matter what happens, what Kanye does right now, he could release the easy. Frosted Flakes. I'm just, I'm putting something out there. And it would sell. Like, all it, I think what people are asking for are basic colors out of the Yeezy 350 series that just make sense. Hence my, my, my gaming chair. If he came out with a royal blue that had black and blue, just like this, for Yeezy 350, and it had reflection, instant sellout. A yellow and black Yeezy, instant sellout. You already did the red and black, so you kind of got the breads, right? So I think people are wanting more basic colors. And I get what Kanye's doing. I know he's, <coughs> excuse me, I know at times he's looking at the whole biblical term. So he's trying to incorporate the biblical story into the shoe that kind of leads to the actual naming of the shoe. Not every shoe, but most shoes. It's just that, I feel like if he starts doing more colorways that people can relate to, I think the complaints will stop. <clears throat> but other than that, you're just going to see small renditions. And the Bible's big. Don't, don't get me wrong. You got the Old Testament. You got the New Testament. So there's a lot of chapters, a lot of verses he can go through, a lot of words he can use. 
and just start spitting out Yeezy 350s. You could be seeing Yeezy 350s for the rest of your life in terms of the V2 series. You could, you just, he, he could do, that's how good he is. <laughs> I mean, and the fact that he could come out with the same exact shoe, and the only difference is the laces will reflect, where they reflect before, they're not reflecting now. The stripe reflects. Uh, like I said, he'll, he'll probably make the pull tab reflect at some point. And then the stitching on the middle of the shoe right there, or the stitching on the back of the shoe will reflect. He can do what he wants. It's Kanye. But your boy might never said, I just wanted to break that down because the Albaz, again, is slated to release in the fall 2020. I, personally, I think it looks just like or similar to the Yeezy 350 Lundmarks to a T. But your boy probably going to try to get it anyway. But your boy might never said, I'm out, and you guys stay blessed.